welcome back fuckers all right today we're gonna begin our deep dive into the a10 systems i'm gonna try and make these as short and concise and as precise as possible so that we can limit as much confusion happening as possible okay the less confused you guys get the better it's going to be so we're going to break down each piece of the puzzle and then put it all together and then try and do some stuff in the a10 at a later date so today our center of interest is going to be the hud okay so we're going to be going through this the hud as soy and we're going to be using the dms switch okay dms switch and all the things that it can do so let's go ahead and get the keybinds that you're going to be needed up and i'll show you what's going to happen Alrighty, so you are going to bind the following. So we're going to go for HOTAS, DMS, aft, left, right, and forward. HOTAS, DMS, aft, left, right, and forward. That's what we're going to be focusing on today. And then on the next one, we'll be doing HOTAS, DMS, sorry, HOTAS, TMS, aft, forward, left, and right. But today, HOTAS, DMS, aft, left, forward, and right, and also China hat, aft. Okay, HOTAS, China hat, aft. Is what we're going to be going through so let's quickly bring up our sweet little cheat sheet booyah so this is in the a10 c2 flight menu you can download off of uh, the internet just google it it'll come up download it and it is in uh, control stick okay when you're in the other uh, main menu just click on control stick scroll down and that's where it's at okay so we're going to be going through here so we've got our cheat sheet essentially for all the commands that you can use in the uh the a10 so we are going to be using the dms okay, dms switch we've got forward aft left right and then we've got our sensor of interest we're going to be going for the hud today so hud dms forward aft left right what does that do to the hud so here we go let's zoom in a touch more so once we've got the hud of soy by selecting coolie hat up short it's going to make the little asterisk appear in the hud you're then going to be doing the following dms forward and aft is going to change your steer point okay it's going to change your steer point from uh one to the next to the next dms left and right is going to change your dms left short left and right short is going to change your gun sight okay and then dms left long it's going to turn your J hammocks on and off if you care for that. And then DMS right long is going to slave your targeting pod to your J hammocks line of sight. Okay, we don't really need to worry about DMS left long and left, sorry, left and right long at the moment because it doesn't really apply to the hunt. Okay, so we're just going to be doing those ones. So let's quickly run through that, get this thing bashed out. Unpause. Get that back up. Here we go. All right, so we've got the HUD as soy. You can see it is soy because we've got the asterisk there, and we're going to press DMS up, and it cycles waypoints, okay? And a good thing about the A10, it's got every single airfield already stored in the uh, CDU, so you can cycle. If you don't know the waypoint or don't know the um, coordinates for a waypoint, you can, let's just find Glenshik. Let's keep cycling through. Have I gone past it? Must have. When I wasn't looking. Okay, just keep there we go. Land check. And it is pretty much right underneath this, but that's how you do it. So say you wanted to find Sochi. I go the wrong way. Sochi. Okay, 109 nautical miles. Gives us our ETA. Uh to get to the target. 24 minutes to get down there. Uh because we're flying the wrong way. But that's it. DMS aft and forward cycles waypoints okay next one dms left and right so we're going to need to get our gun selected now so bring that up let's get our gun so we've still got hard as soy and you can see our gun cross down there all right gun uh reticle you're going to press dms left and you see it now goes up to a bore site for the gun a mills line for the gun and then just the gun cross you don't have the circle showing okay so you can cycle your gun modes your gun cross modes and then the last one uh what was it again i can't remember so many things now that's it that is it 
All right, so DMS switch, what it's used for with the HUD is to cycle waypoints. Up and down will cycle your waypoints, and then left and right will change your gun reticle gross when you've got the HUD as soy. So if you've been hitting buttons inadvertently, and when you like go to gun someone, do a ground attack run, and your gun, you switch to the gun, and you're like, what the hell, where's my, uh, where's my gun gross? Just press, make the HUD as soy, DMS, left or right until you get to the relevant gun gun site that you like for your ground attack runs alrighty guys hope that helped um, like I said we're going to make these as short and precise as possible less information the better and just get you guys slowly chipping away understanding the system if you did like it make sure you hit the like button and if you haven't already hit subscribe on the youtube channel let's bump those numbers up see if we can get the 400 now we cracked the 300 on our way to 400 respect thank you legends and last but not least i do stream on twitch monday to friday at 1300 australian western standard time so if you haven't already come and by drop in say good day ask any questions you're live on stream and we'll do our best to answer them for you all right guys catch us on the next one see you